Wednesday night. Take Green Hall for a spin. And it will take you somewhere else. It's stepping back in time. Green is its own little vortex. Rockabilly band The Georges got their standing gig at Green Hall in 2010. We were nervous because we'd been playing for years and years and uh, they finally gave us a shot. They don't take it lightly from the people they play for to where they're standing. Dale Watson, who is a Texas legend, said there's something about the wood in here and it's probably all the music that has echoed through the wood that definitely is conducive to good music. Regulars Ryan and Amanda Sayers believe it and say these walls full of stars prove it. You know, George Strait, Willie Nelson, he's been here many times, Loretta Lynn, so you, you could just name the names they've been here. Some of the best country music have you know, performed here, so we feel proud to be able to dance in here. You know, you come in here, you know you're getting Green Hall. In his 20 years of work here, from bar back to manager, Shane Roach has seen it happen. You know, I've seen people that started playing three shows here, like what we have tonight, uh -huh. and they've moved on to headliner status. But it's more than a chance to get a glimpse of the greatness that fills these floors. Y'all are in for a treat. You haven't heard this band. Just miles away, nestled in the hills near Blanco. Twin Sisters Dance Hall holds more than a hundred years of history. It was the heart of Twin Sisters area. But with time came new distractions. The dance hall became a dying breed for a while. I mean, it was a struggle. It has been a struggle to keep the doors open. Volunteers fundraised and fought to protect memories made and families formed. This is where I met my husband. Through what some might call just a dance hall. Take a look at this crowd. That's a part of it. Here, Texans come together for community, tradition, and a chance to help musicians like the Georges craft their sound. On a lot of songs, the way we started playing them from the beginning to now end up into a completely different animal because we have this regular thing here at the hall. For the bands, it's a place to get good and get heard. The rest of us, it's an escape. They can step back into time and, and get away from the cell phones, the computers, and breathe. And for a few, it's the start of a new dream. The first note to a track we might all hear someday. In the Texas Hill Country, Erica Zuko, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.